I'm back in Oxford, New Jersey, and I actually came across a bit of a mystery. I'm on Oxford Mountain to the north of Route 31, and I came across this stone slab here, this, this face of rock work. And to give the orientation, I'm actually looking northward from here, so Route 31 is behind me, and the there's actually an Oxford um, tunnel, which I did a previous video on, which was also located south of here. So, so this is the direction 180 degrees for me of of Route 31 is Route 31 is about 20, 30. I'm going to say 200, 300, 400 meters in that direction, uh, and now we're facing north. So. The previous video I showed was the south entrance to the tunnel. And originally I thought this was somehow connected with the northern entrance of the tunnel, but it's basically facing the wrong direction. And it wouldn't make sense that this would be the exit to the tunnel because we're still going up the mountain. We're, we're quite a bit higher than the en entrance to the tunnel and the mountain is still going. Um, we're still inclined going up the mountain. So it wouldn't make sense for this to be on to be either the exit of the tunnel or down the track from the from the northern exit of the tunnel. So best I can tell we're actually would be approximately over the tunnel right now so the tunnel would be beneath us. And one thought that I had was this I know that there was originally a track over Oxford Mountain while they were constructing the tunnel and they used pusher pusher motors or pusher engines to get the trains up to the top of Oxford Mountain. That was a bottleneck and slow process, which is why they constructed the tunnel. But I'm thinking maybe this could somehow be related to, to the original track that went up and over the mountain. And I did travel down that way a little bit and I did find some possible evidence of a railroad there. But looking at this structure itself, it actually looks like it's maybe 25 meters across and I want to say say less than 10 meters high but just looking at the top of it it does look like the top of it would be wide enough to support a section of double tracks so so maybe this was somehow a raised section of track that that went through here or something of that nature I'm actually going to go to the top of this of this of this stone structure. But actually, one thing I just noticed here, if you look here, this actually looks like it could have been railroad ballast, which would definitely indicate that this could have been related to a railroad at some time. So this stone this stone here is pretty clearly railroad ballast. And going on top, pretty steep climb. There's this raised section here, and then there's a drainage ditch on that, or there's a ditch on that side and a ditch on that side. And looking down, You can see the section C that the line that the line basically in the direction of this um, structure would be looks like it has been cleared out a little bit. So there's there's basically a dugout section here right before this. So this does, this section I'm standing on does look like it could have at one point been a railroad fill. I'm not completely sure. But again, there's, looks like there is more railroad ballast or, yeah, stone railroad ballast here. So I'm not completely, so I'm completely baffled by what this actually is, though, because 
There shouldn't be any railroad here. There should just be a tunnel under here. The rock face is over there in the distance and actually notice this piece of what used to be cut stone here. So it's pretty clearly squared off and cut. And I notice this lines up perfectly with where the with where the rock face would be. So this would indicate that it was somehow related to a railroad. Maybe this rock face here was some type of support as well. And again, we're on this upraised section here with a ditch on this side and with the sliding with the slight hill on this side, but this section here aligned up with the rock face is a flat strip. Also notice this over here, which goes under this flat area. And it looks like this could have been some type of, yeah, this looks like it could have been some type of of support or something like that for the upraised area. So there's a rock wall here. And this this looks construction-wise very similar to the rock walls that I saw near Oxford Tunnel. So I'm trying to visualize what this could possibly have looked like if it was a railroad. Maybe some type of inclined piece of track that used this as supports and went to the top of that of that stone face there. If it was a temporary piece of track while Oxford Tunnel was being constructed, all of the works holding the tracks up, a lot of them may have been just simply made of wood, or they could have been made of iron but removed. Another shot, that's that wall I showed you down there, but I also noticed this piece of stone right here that's it's lying on its side. I believe that this could have been another section of stone wall that would have originally lined up with uh, that section of stone wall here, but that just fell over on its side. And there's uh, another piece of stone wall down there that's, that's at a 45 degree angle in the process of tipping over. So this, could, this pretty clearly was a raised section of something probably of track and being held up by these stone supports that have now pretty much began to collapse in on themselves. And of course the section, the raised section is now, now very much overgrown with trees and with debris. And it's unlike the, unlike um, railroad beds that I've seen before that are, have been recently abandoned where there's only small amounts of growth or small shrubbery. These have big oaks and full-grown trees in them. So this piece of track would have been abandoned a very, very long time ago. And it would be consistent with the piece of track that was abandoned when back in 1862 when Oxford Tunnel was opened. A bit further down, I actually came across this manhole here, which looks like it's, that just sounds like it still has water flowing through it. So this was some type of sewer drain or something of that nature. And just to give the orientation, this is looking downward south, so in the opposite direction of the of the rock wall. And the rock wall would have been up in that direction. So we're on the flat piece, which would have been the railroad bed. And I also noticed these past this stump, this line of of stone masonry so these stones which could have been supports and i noticed a second some additional supports right here so it looks like there could have been two rows of supports which would have been consistent with with two rows of tracks which could have gone up and over this mountain Yeah, so there's one line of these stone supports here 
And then there's another line of these stone supports here. Yeah, these are squares that are actually hollowed out in the center. So yeah, there's a hollowed, hollowed out portion in there, but they still would have been strong enough to support a track or a train going up here. And I also noticed that interesting structure over there that I'm going to take a look at in a second, that, that piece of brickwork. Brickwork actually doesn't look like it. I have no idea what this is. It doesn't look like something that I've seen associated with railroads before. It actually looks like it. Almost looks like it could have been some 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 type of smelting operation or something of that nature, but interesting because you actually have this piece of brickwork and it's on one of the supports so there's a this is that the right row, row of the supports and then there's another row of supports to the left over here and there's some piece of debris over there piece of rusting metal But back to this piece of brickwork here. Was hollowed out inside. I don't know if there's anything interesting in here. There's some bottles and cans and stuff like that in there now. But following that direction, Route 31 is that direction. It actually does seem to line up the axis of this road here does seem to line up with the entrance of the tunnel, but the entrance of the tunnel is facing north and goes under Route 31, so this couldn't have been the track after it exits the tunnel. I also saw this brick here which has some writing on it, although I can't make out what it says. Here's another set of pylons which would have carried the railroad. After getting home and doing some research, I found that Oxford was actually the site of an early iron furnace, along with the number of iron mines that provided ore for the furnace. So just to give reference, this is where the ruins I looked at were located. And I noticed this is Oxford Mountain, and there's some mines located on the side of Oxford Mountain. And Oxford Furnace is actually located over here. So the ruins I looked at could have been could have been a railroad track that transported ore from the mines to Oxford Furnace. I know Oxford Furnace was operational in the 1800s. I believe it went out of service later in the 1800s, probably the 1870s or 80s or something of that nature. And the age of the ruins actually looks like it could have been something that went out of service in the late 1800s. It looks, just judging by the amount of trees and amount of growth over it and amount of decay, it's obviously that the track was out of service for a pretty long time. Also, here is the site of Oxford Tunnel. So this was the railroad bed for the Warren Railroad, so the Lackawanna Old Road. And the tunnel starts here, and it actually goes down to, and comes out right here. So we were not actually over the tunnel, so it's unlikely that that would have been anything associated with the tunnel. Although it is possible that this could have been a railroad that would have connected these mines to the Lackawanna Old Road. So this, just judging by the direction, it looks like it could have been a track that went through here and met up with the Old Road.